Hello and welcome to Silas Infotech. Today, you'll learn how to configure policy routes on a FortiGate firewall. Whether you're an IT enthusiast or a network administrator, this video will guide you step by step on how to configure and use policy-based routing. Policy routes, also known as policy-based routing, allow us to control traffic flow in a network by defining rules based on specific criteria, such as source or destination IP addresses, ports, and protocols. Unlike traditional routing, which relies on the routing table, policy routes let us override default behavior and ensure certain traffic takes the path we want. Here, you can see that my network has two internet connections. ISP 1-1-1, dedicated for Microsoft Update. ISP 2-1-2, for general internet traffic. We'll configure a policy route so that all traffic goes through ISP 2-1-2, by default, Microsoft Windows Update uses ISP 1.1.1. Alright, let's dive in. Log into your FortiGate firewall. Open your web browser and enter the IP address of your FortiGate firewall. Log in with your administrative credentials. Once you're logged in, you're ready to follow the rest of the instructions to configure policy routes and optimize your network traffic. As you can see, I'll be using a FortiGate 201 model running FortiOS version 7.4.5. Alright, before we jump into the configuration, let's check the interface status of our FortiGate firewall. As you can see, I am using FortiGate ports 3 and 4 for my internal connection or LAN, where all my client devices are connected. You might have noticed that all client devices are connected through the DHCP server. ISP1 is connected to 1.1 using a PPPoE connection, and ISP2 is also connected to 1.2 using a PPPoE connection. Let's check the static routes on our FortiGate firewall. From the network menu, click on Static Routes. In the Static Routing table, there are two default static routes with the same distance value of 10, one with a priority of 5 for 1-1, one, one, and another with a priority of 1 for 1-2. One, the route with the lowest value in the priority field is considered the primary route. In this video, ISP2-1-2 is the primary route, and 1-1 one, one is the secondary route. If WAN2 goes down, 1-1 one, one automatically becomes the primary route. Let's check the firewall policies. Here you can see there are two firewall policy entries. LAN to 1-1. One, one. LAN to 1-2. Let's review the policy configuration for LAN to 1.1. You might notice that traffic is passing through LAN to 1.1 and 1.2. In this demonstration, for the incoming interface, I will use LAN, and for the outgoing interface, I will use 1.1. Similarly, for the source address, I will use the LAN address, and for the destination, I will select all. In the schedule, choose always, and in the action, select accept. For inspection mode, you can choose either flow-based or proxy-based. Enable NAT if necessary. Finally, in the security profile, enable antivirus and web filter features if you have a subscription. Then, select enable policy and click OK. You can repeat the same process as for LAN to 1.1 but change the outgoing interface to 1.2. Alright, let's move on to the next part. In older versions of 40OS, the Policy Routes option is disabled by default. To enable the Policy Routes option, go to System. Select Feature Visibility. Enable the Advanced Routing option. Click on Apply to enable it. Let's create a Policy Route. From the Navigation menu, go to Network Policy Routes and click on Create New. Now, let's define the rule for Microsoft Windows Update. For the incoming interface, you can choose your internal or LAN interface. Please adjust the interface to match your environment. For the source address, select your internal or LAN address. Alternatively, you can create a new address if needed. To do this, click on the Create tab, then click on Address. Define your new address, subnet mask, and interface, and click OK to add the new address. Similarly, for the destination address, select the address according to your policy route. In this video, I will be configuring the policy route for Microsoft Windows Update, so all traffic related to Windows updates will flow through this policy route. That's why I will choose Internet Service, then select Microsoft Windows Update. In the Protocol option, you can select whichever protocol you need. In this video, I will select any.
In this video, I will be configuring forwarding traffic, so select forwarding traffic. Enable the outgoing traffic option and select the interface, such as 11. You can also specify the gateway address if needed. Set a comment for the policy route. Enable the status. Review the configuration twice to ensure everything is correct. Click OK to add the new policy route. Here it is, a new policy route has been added to the policy route table. Now, let's update your client device. On the client computer, click on the start menu and choose settings, then click on Windows Update, and finally click on Check for Updates. Next, let's go back to the firewall policies table to check the status of firewall traffic. As you can see, the traffic flow rate has increased. I am now going to update another Windows client. Repeat the same process for the Windows update. Let's check the status of the traffic flow again. Here we go. The traffic flow byte rate has increased. Now let's check the status of the policy route entries. You might notice that the hit count has increased to 33. Additionally, the traffic flow rate from LAN to WAN 1 or ISP1, is continuously increasing. Not only is the traffic flow increasing, but the number of hit counts is also rising. A hit count on a firewall refers to the number of times a specific firewall policy has been triggered or matched by incoming or outgoing network traffic. Now, let's check the forward traffic status. Right-click on the firewall policy and click on Show Matching Logs. Here you can see source IP addresses 192.168.199.4 and the device type is Windows, with the destination being a Microsoft-specific update site. Then, look at the result status, which shows Accept. Here, you can see another device with the IP address 192.168.199.2, which is also connected to the LAN or internal network and updated using the FortiGate firewall policy route. You might notice that the destination address is Microsoft Update, connected via the HTTPS protocol. And that's how you can master policy routes in 40 gate firewalls. With this knowledge, you can optimize traffic flow, ensure redundancy, and improve network performance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Silas Infotech. Let's explore tech together, one step at a time. See you in the next video.